Hello everyone and welcome back to the final-ish... ...ish episode of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we defeated the first three members of the Elite Four, and now... ...we're going to challenge Lance, the Dragon Tamer, the final Elite Four member. Ah, I've heard about you, Cory. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Cory. And let's take a look at his team. We've made it to the last of the Elite Four. This is Lance, the Dragon Trainer. Now, he doesn't actually, he only has three dragon Pokemon, but let's look at Gyarados. This is the Pokemon that he's going to lead with, so make sure that you send out a special attacker against it, which you should be doing anyways. Hello, Raichu, because it has a four times weakness to electric. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. It knows that it has the ability to intimidate, so as long as we hit this thing with Raichu's Thunderbolt or Thunder, uh, we will be able to take down Gyarados in absolutely no problem. Uh, it knows Bite, Twister, Dragon Rage, and Hyper Beam. I honestly do not think that we are going to be running into an issue whatsoever with this Gyarados. Uh, and if you have an Electric type, I don't think you will be either. Its next Pokemon is Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is a Rock Flying type who has a ton of weaknesses. Uh, and if we look, his defense is actually lower than his uh, special defense. So we kind of want to switch in something that's going to be able to hit this thing super effective with either Rock, Steel, or, uh, or a special attack, Water, Electric, and Ice. Now, whatever you send out is absolutely going to be outsped. So you need to make sure that this, whatever you send out, can survive a Wing Attack, an Ancient Power, or a Hyper Beam. It also knows, knows the move Scary Face that will lower your speed. Not that that totally matters, though, because it's going to be faster than you no matter what. It also has the ability Rockhead. Not that it matters, because nothing it has will hurt itself. It, uh, Lance's next Pokemon is Dragonair. Dragonair is a pure Dragon type. It is only weak to Dragon and Ice. Now that Charizard has a uh, beautiful, beautiful Dragon Claw with a 80 base power, we are going to put that to use in this fight. Now, Dragonair knows the moves Safeguard, Outrage, Hyper Beam, and Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage is a fixed 40 damage uh, attack, so not a huge issue. I do believe that Dragonair will be taken down super quickly. Don't even worry about putting status conditions on it because it does have the Shed Skin ability, as does his second Dragonair, which move pool kind of changes a little bit. It loses that uh, Dragon Breath for Thunder Wave, uh, which is just annoying. It's just going to be annoying. But if you can outspeed it, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take it down in one to two hits, uh, no matter what. Its next Pokemon, Lance's next Pokemon, is none other than Dragonite, the evolved form of Dragonair. It is a Dragon Flying type Pokemon, meaning it is a quad weakness to Ice. So, this is when Poseidon, our Vaporeon, is going to come in, use Ice Beam, and finish up this battle. This Dragonite does have the ability Inner Focus, which will prevent flinching, and its moveset is Safeguard, Outrage, Wing Attack, and Hyper Beam. Outrage gets more powerful the more the Dragon uses it. With that attack stat, we don't want to be hit by any of that. At all. We want to take this thing down with either an Ice-type move, if that's ideal, or a Rock and Dragon-type move. Uh, like Bahamut's Dragon Claw, if Poseidon somehow fails in her task. Here we go, Lance. You're going down, baby boo. Alright, so Lance is going to start with, like I said, that Gyarados. Which is going to be great for us, because we are going to start with our very own Chu. Chu, uh, level 55 Raichu against his level 56 Gyarados, who just so happens to be weak to electric. So goodbye, Gyarados. I would be amazed. If this Thunderbolt does not kill Gyarados in one hit, uh, I'd be very, very surprised. That quad weakness is just too strong. Goodbye, little Gyarados. All right. Next, we are going to switch to Poseidon, who's going to be able to take down the remainder of his Pokemon. At least that is my hope. Oh, oh Jesus. All right. So Dragonair is going to come out. I don't know if this is the first or second Dragonair that I showed you. Uh, we'll see. If it ends up using Thunder Wave, then it's that one. If it doesn't, then it's not. Okay. So, Dragonair, my hope here is that we will... Oh, no! Damn it! Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. It used Safeguard. That's totally fine. Safeguard will uh, prevent status afflictions. Not a big deal. We'll take it down with this Ice Beam. This will be enough to kill this Dragonair. Uh, that, that, that weakness to Ice just makes it go down so easily. All right, we will get 1,665... Now, I'm actually going to switch to our uh, Bahamut. The only reason for that, even though we, I know we could use, um, I know we could end up using our wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, Ice Beam to take it down, I want to show off Dragon Claw. So, Dragon Claw, right on that Dragon Arrow, that's an 80 base power move, Dragon. It is weak. Oh! Okay. 
So this is, of course, is the second Dragonair. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to use a full restore on this turn, uh, but we are going to go ahead and use a uh, Dragon Claw yet again. Um, I'm actually quite surprised that that did not kill Dragonair in one hit, but I wanted to kind of show off this attack because we haven't really had a chance to do that. And uh, we'll be able to, I'm hoping here, uh, hit it yet again with with that. It's going to use Outrage, which actually shouldn't do too much damage the first time it's used, uh, and we're paralyzed, so that's a problem. Um, and they're no longer protected by Safeguard. We're going to use another Dragon Claw. This Outrage is going to do a tremendous amount of damage, probably bring us... Oh, no, it did not. And we are paralyzed yet again. Uh, but we our Citrus Berry that we equipped our Charizard with is going to kick in, uh, so we'll be able to survive its next Outrage. Um, right? Okay. Easily, peasily. Uh, wow, we are we are we are having a lot of problems. So it became confused due to fatigue. I am going to use a full restore on our Charizard, even though I don't totally need to do that. Uh, but the only reason for that is because I want to make sure that this thing goes down in this in this match. Uh, it's confused. If it hits itself, it dies. Nope, it's going to hit us with a hyper beam. Uh, luckily for us, Dragonair is super easy. Um, I should have just stayed in with Vaporeon just to uh, just to finish it off. I'm going to finish this with a flamethrower. Goodbye, Dragonair. Uh, its next Pokemon is a interesting Pokemon. Um, an interesting Pokemon. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to send out his Aerodactyl next against us. Yep, Aerodactyl. We are going to, of course, switch to our one and only Poseidon, who's going to be able to take these hits and dish it out no problem. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was considering actually switching to Luna, uh, because we're not going to see too much of Luna left. But we're going to hit uh, this this Aerodactyl with a Surf. It's two times weak to it. I'm hoping that this Surf is going to hurt. Of course, we could also use Chew and use that Thunderbolt. But I think Surf might be a better bet. Yes! Alright, so that Surf was able to kill the one and only Aerodactyl in one hit. Next is going to be Lance's most powerful Pokemon, Dragonite. That quad weakness, though, to Ice is going to make sure that we... Uh, kill this thing super quickly. Let's hope that Vaporeon, our dear old Poseidon, can do this for us. This Dragonite is gonna go down. Oh, full restore coming out on it. Oh no, he's frozen solid! This is amazing. So, no matter what, we win. We just beat Lance of the Elite Four. What? Oh, he's gonna use his berry. That's fine. Somehow he's using a berry, even... Th Wait. It didn't use a full restore because of his berry. That's great. That's amazing. And down goes Dragonite. We rule. He drools. Poseidon's gonna hit level 56. Uh, yeah. We just beat the Elite Four. We are now the champions of Kanto, of Pokemon Fire Red. We just beat the game. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon Master. And we will get 6,000 Poke Dollars for winning. Always good. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Corey. You are now the Pokemon League Champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. His name is... Freezing. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Alright, everyone. Let's actually beat this game. In this next room, the one and only Freezen, our rival, stands to wait us. Hey, Cory. I was looking forward to seeing you, Cory. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, but I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type, and now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Cory, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Here we go. Us versus Freezen, our greatest rival. We're gonna take him down, no problem. We are going to start off with our very own Raichu. Let's take a look at Freezen's team. That's right, it's none other than your rival. In our case, it's Freezen. Now, we have fought him many times, and the first three Pokemon that he uses are always going to be there. However, the remaining three that are on his team depend on who you chose as a starter. So, let's start off with the Pokemon that we know he's going to have, we know he's going to lead off with. That is Pidgeot, a normal flying-type Pokemon that is obviously weak to rock, electric, and ice. Now, it's worth mentioning that it does have a low special defense, a lower special defense than it does defense, so we want to try to hit this thing with either an ice attack or an electric attack. Now, it does know the moves Aerial Ace, Sand Attack, Whirlwind, and Feather Dance. Feather Dance will lower your attack, but as long as you're using a special attacker, you will be totally fine. It also has the ability Keen Eye, so don't try to lower its accuracy, it's not going to work. We're going to come in with uh, Raichu, and we are going to use our Thunderbolt to take down this Pidgeot. Its next Pokemon that it will that he will always have is Rhydon. Rhydon is a ground rock type Pokemon, 
Look at that attack stat. Look at that defense. Do not hit this thing with anything but a special attack. It does have so many weaknesses. A quad weakness to water and grass. Hello, Poseidon. Poseidon's gonna come in, use Surf, Rhydon's down. It knows the moves Takedown, Rock Tomb, Earthquake, Scary Face. Not even a worry. And it has the ability Lightning Rod, which is stupid. It's one of its worst abilities. So we will be able to take down this Rhydon. I'm not even worried about it. We'll, we'll be able to take this thing down before it even gets to attack us. And his next Pokemon is going to be Alakazam. You're gonna get outsped by Alakazam. It's gonna happen. He's gonna hit you real hard. He knows the moves Psychic, Future Sight, Reflect, and Recover, and the ability Synchronize, so don't bother putting a Status Affliction on him. He is weak to Bug, Ghost, and Dark. Here's the problem. If he uses a Psychic against our Nidoking, our Nidoking is straight up dead. Gone. In fact, most Pokemon that we use against Alakazam, if they are hit at all, will die. So, I'm not entirely sure what my strategy is going to be for this. I am indeed going to try to send in Nidoking, uh, hope that we can hope that we can get that Mega Horn off, hit that Alakazam. Uh, maybe Alakazam will get lucky and it will use Reflect its first turn, or it will use Future Sight, something that will prevent us from dying. Now, this is when his Pokemon team starts to get a little bit different. So, we're going to move on to a Pokemon that he'll have uh, if he doesn't have Charizard. So, if he doesn't have Charizard, he will have Arcanine, uh, which is weak to ground, rock, and water. It is a pure fire-type Pokemon. We have a lot of different things that can take down Arcanine. It does have the ability Intimidate, though, so make sure, if you are like me and you're using a Nidoking, that you don't have Nidoking out there when Arcanine comes in. We are going to uh, start off with Poseidon, actually, to try to take down this Arcanine. It knows the moves Extreme Speed, which is beautiful. It's a priority move. It will always attack first. Roar, Bite, and Flamethrower. I don't really think, I don't really see us being that afraid of this Pokemon. It does have pretty average defenses at 80. Um, it's a very good Pokemon, don't get me wrong, but I do think that we'll be able to counter it pretty well. His next Pokemon is if he doesn't have a Venusaur. This is Executor. So as long as your rival doesn't have a Venusaur, it will have an Executor. It, this Pokemon has so many weaknesses that you will be able to capitalize on. Uh, congratulations, because you just won this fight. We are going to, of course, send out Nidoking. Nidoking is going to be able to destroy this thing. End of story. Literally, end of story. That four times weakness to bug means that hitting this thing with a Mega Horn is going to end its life. It does have the ability Chlorophyll, but that's not a problem because you will probably face this Pokemon uh, before Sunny Day can even be used. It knows the moves Giga Drain, Sleep Powder, Light Screen, and Egg Bomb. We will be able to take this thing down before anything even hits us. I'm, I, I'll guarantee you. Next is the rival's Gyarados if it doesn't have Blastoise. Now, we actually uh, have to battle the tougher, I think, of his Pokemon. This Pokemon is so easy to take down with Electric. Um, so if you have an Electric type of, uh, attack, use it. Its moveset is Hydro Pump, Dragon Rage, Bite, and Thrash. Uh, that's actually a pretty reasonable, pretty decent moveset better than it's been in the past and it knows the uh move ability uh intimidate so you want to make sure you use a special attacker to take down your rival's gyarados if it doesn't have blastoise now let's move on to his starter pokemon so if you chose venusaur he will have charizard with the moves fire blast aerial ace slash and fire spin this thing is meant to destroy you however because it's a charizard we know very well its weakness to rock if we can use a rock type attack against this Charizard, it will go down. It has the only ability that it can have, which is Blaze. Uh, so you need to take this thing down quick. Obviously, we want to hit it with any any physical attack uh, because of that lower special uh, that lower physical defense will hurt it. And I do think that if you are using a Pokemon that has a rock type attack, I do think you'll be fine as long as it's not on, say, like a grass type or a bug type. It's next Pokemon that he can use is Blastoise. This is the Pokemon that we personally will be facing. This is perhaps, I think, one of his harder Pokemon. His next one is actually the hardest, I think. His defenses are huge. It's only weak to Grass and Electric. The only thing that we have that will hurt this Pokemon is our Raichu. That's it. Now, it does have the ability Torrent, which is the same as Blaze, and it knows the moves Hydro Pump, Skull Bash, Bite, and Rain Dance. Uh, not really a... That's actually fine. Uh, it's Hydro Pump will kill you, I believe. Any type of attack, unless you literally just resist 
water uh, will kill you with that Hydro Pump and Raid Dance combo. And finally, I think personally his most powerful starter, Venusaur. Venusaur is a wonderful, wonderful starter Pokemon, perhaps one of the most powerful. It is a Grass Poison type Pokemon, uh, meaning it does have some weaknesses, but no quad weaknesses. It is weak to Flying, Fire, Psychic, and Ice. Uh, obviously, we are going to try to use... Uh, well, nothing because we're not facing him. Uh, you should be trying to use perhaps you have your own Vaporeon with Ice Beam. Uh, its moveset is Solar Beam, Synthesis, Sunny Day, and Growth. That Sunny Day will make sure that that Solar Beam hits immediately and that that Synthesis will even uh, restore even more health. So you want to hit this thing as hard as you can, as fast as you can, and get it off the field. Now, let's see if we can take down the Pokemon League champion. Champion Friesen would like to battle Champion Friesen, sent out Pidgeot. Now, we are, of course, going to counter with our very own Chu. Now, this Pidgeot is a couple levels higher than us at level 59, but Chu is a beast. We will be able to do tremendous damage with this Thunderbolt, if not one-hit KO it. I don't think we're going to be able to one-hit KO it. It's going to use Sand Attack, lowering our accuracy. Not a big deal. It's not going to use Feather Dance because we're not a physical attacker. That full restore coming out from Friesen is going to guarantee that we win if we don't miss. Luckily, we're not using Thunder, so our chances of not missing are a little bit better. If we were using Thunder only, we'd be totally screwed. So, Pidgeot's going to go back down to red, and of course, as long as we can outspeed it, it is paralyzed and maybe unable to move. Great. We're going to use Thunderbolt, take it down. Uh, I was going to use Quick Attack, but I figured, you know what? Let's just take down this Pidgeot. No problemo. Level 59 Pidgeot is defeated by level 56 Chew. Next is going to be a Rhydon. Like I said in the bio, we are literally just going to switch to Poseidon and call it a damn day. Uh, Poseidon will be able to outspeed Rhydon. Hit Rhydon super hard. Rhydon's dead. There is perhaps the least consequential Pokemon in our entire journey so far is this, this Rhydon right here. Poor little guy. And down goes Rhydon. We knew he was going to die. It was super easy. Not worried about it. Ton of experience points for that. Next is going to be an Executor. This again is when I mentioned that Topher was going to be able to destroy him. Now the only reason he has to he has an Execute is because he didn't pick Venusaur. If he picked Venusaur, he would not have this Execute. So we are going to, of course, hit this Execute with a No! Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. It's going to hit us with, uh, oh no, it doesn't have any psychic attacks at all. Never mind, I don't care, we're good. Alright, we're going to go ahead and use, for the first time ever, the Pokemon Flute. Which will wake up our little Nidoking. King. Nitto King. Alright, so Nitto King's going to wake up. He's going to hit us with Giga Drain. Not going to do that much damage. That ground typing kind of hurts us a little bit. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to survive, no problemo. Uh, and let's hope that we don't miss again with a Mega Horn. I can't believe that happened to us. That's like the worst luck imaginable. That's awful. Alright, Mega Horn. Mega Horn will absolutely wreck Execute, like I said before. That four times weakness to Bug uh, and that weak f uh, physical defense stat means that Execute is gone. Wiped off the face of the Earth. Next, it's probably going to send out Gyarados. Alakazam! Alright, we're going to stay in for Alakazam. Like I mentioned, though, before, this is not the best idea. It's really, really, really not. Uh, we're going to use Mega Horn. It hits a little bit harder. Um, I'm assuming that we might be able... We... Oh my god, we missed twice. We missed twice with Mega Horn. Are you kidding me? So he foresaw an attack, which means that his future sight attack is going to hit us in about three turns. He now outsped us uh, with that psychic. That psychic's definitely going to kill us. And down goes Nidoking. King. Um, I can't. I honestly am shocked. I'm shocked that that happened. We are going to switch to Poseidon. Poseidon's going to be able to come out here and use our bite. This is the reason why we gave Vaporeon that black glasses. This should not kill Poseidon. I would be amazed. Exactly, exactly what I thought would happen. Uh, this should take it down to about half, not quite. Um, and the future sight attack is also going to hit us here, so we might need to level up a little bit. Uh, I'm not super worried. Um, and I think we can take another hit. So it's going to use Reflect, meaning that it's going to raise its defense. Luckily, we are hitting it with a special attack. Let's hope... Not quite. He's going to use a full restore. He's going to use a full restore. Which means that we are not going to be able to kill this Alakazam in these next couple of turns. Uh, but we are able to get that bite out. And we'll be able to, hopefully, uh, we won't be able to hit him again. He's going to hit us with that Psychic. I really don't think it's going to kill us, uh, but it is going to hurt. All right. 
That's going to bring him down to, we took out his Alakazam. His Pokemon that I was super worried about, I'm really sad that we lost Topher, uh, but you know what? We knew, to we knew Topher was going to go. Uh, now we are needing to switch into, we're going to stay in. I know, scary. We're going to stay in as Arcanine. We are going to, in fact, use an item. Uh, I was going to switch to Luna, but then I realized we need her strength. Um, so I'm going to use a full restore. Hey, if you can use full restore, so can I. I'm going to use a full restore on Poseidon. We're going to make sure that we get Poseidon back up there, because Poseidon's going to be our best counter to this Arcanine, who's going to hit us with extreme speed, because it has nothing else to really hit us with. Uh, that extreme speed is going to hit first no matter what, which is not a big deal. Uh, and our... our our Vaporeon is so tanky that we're fine. Uh, this Surf should bring it down to about half, if not a little bit more. Again, like I said, Arcanine is just such a bulky, good Pokemon that uh, I'd be super surprised if this... Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to get a one-hit KO, um, which is too bad. And it is going to use a full Restore, which is fine. Uh, we're not going to be using Vaporeon for any more of this battle because obviously its last, uh, our rival's last Pokemon is going to be this Blastoise here for us. Uh, luckily. Uh, and not quite to dead, but we will be able to switch. Use that quick attack. No way. I did not expect him to use another full restore on this Pokemon. Okay. Well, we'll hit him with a quick attack, uh, which will bring him down a crit, uh, which will bring him enough to have one Surf end up killing him. Now, that was not a very good turn of events. This battle didn't go as smooth as I would have liked so far, but that's okay, we've done really well in all of the other fights, so we've only had two KOs this entire uh, Elite Four fight. Elite Five, really. Down goes Arcanine, and we will get a lot of experience, but not quite enough to push us, and now we have Blastoise coming out. Bla Blastoise. So we are going to send out our own Luna. Now, I know that seems crazy. I know you're thinking, Cory, are you crazy? The reason for this is because if Raichu is hit by a Hydro Pump, it will die. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to... It's going to use uh, Rain Dance first. It's what it will always do to make its Hydro Pump hit even harder. We are going to make sure that this thing takes damage. Now, what we want to do is kind of bring this down to about half, right? Wait it out. Wait it out. Then bring our Raichu in, outspeed this thing, and take it down. Um, that's going to bring... Eventually, this thing's going to die. We're going to use Psychic uh, just to get a little bit more damage. That Hydro Pump is not going to be enough to kill us um, because we are so tanky, but it is going to use Hydro Pump on its next turn, which will kill us. Uh, but luckily for us, we'll be able to switch to... Um, my hope, anyways, is that we will be able to switch to our beautiful, beautiful Raichu. Uh, I, think, I think it's going to use a Citrus Berry, so we'll go ahead... It missed! Okay, so we'll be able to use Soft Boiled and survive at least another round, um, which is fine. Now, obviously we can do a lot more damage if we did, in fact, switch to uh, Raichu. I just, I need to make sure that Raichu can survive. If Raichu goes down, we lose. So it's going to use its berry now, which is good for us. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to use its berry. I'm going to use Psychic yet again. It's going to hit us with Hydro Pump. Um, uh, so I, we're, I'm expecting, I'm expecting a full restore to come out on this turn. On its next, wait, 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 wait. Is it possible? Okay, there's the berry. That's good, that's actually real good. I'm hoping that the berry will push it enough where the poison's not gonna push it into red. If it pushes it into red, it's gonna use a full restore this next turn. So we're going to make sure that, uh, we have a toxic ready for it. No, it did Oh my god. Oh my god. So, what better way to end the game than to have our very own Bahamut out against Blastoise. Just like episode one, when Blastoise faints, Bahamut will be the one to take credit for it. Nice job, Luna. You did amazing. Champion Friesen just went down. No, that can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that work to become the league champion, my reign is over already? It's not fair. It's not fair. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Oak is here. Hello, Professor Oak. So you've won. Ser sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander to work on the Pokedex. Corey... You have come of age. Freezen, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Freezen, 
Do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become a champion again. Cory, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Cory, come with me. Alright. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Congratulations, Cory. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Cory, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Cory. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. The end. That was a weird cut. Why didn't we see the Hall of Fame? Because we're not done yet. We're not done. I know it seemed like that was the end of this Pokemon episode, but it wasn't. We are going to start up again. Previously on your quest, took on Elite Four Bruno, we won. Took on Agatha, we won. Took on Va Lance, we won. We won against Friesen, and now we're here in Pallet Town. Huh. Ah, Cory, you're back, are you? How much have you filled your Pokedex? May I see it? Let's see. You've caught 111 Pokemon. Now this is impressive. There's something I wanted to ask of you, Cory. Come, follow me. Yeah, guys. We're gonna be doing the post game. I was considering maybe not doing the post game of Pokemon Fire Red, but as I am such a completionist, I figured, you know what? There's a whole other world out there for us to explore once we beat the Pokemon Elite Four for the first time. The first time. So I didn't want to show you what happens when you beat the game because we haven't really beat it yet. Recently, there have been sightings of many rare Pokemon species. I'm talking about Pokemon that have never been seen in Kanto. I would love to go see things for myself, but I'm much too old. Since I can't do it, Cory, I'd like you to go in my place. And Friesen will arrive. Hey, I heard that. Gramps, what's with favoring Cory over me all the time? I went and collected more Pokemon and faster, too. You should just let me handle it. I know, I know. Of course I need your help, too. Now I need to see both of your Pokedexes. So he'll take both, and he'll actually make it better. And that's done. Now these units can record data on a lot more Pokemon. Cory's Pokedex was upgraded. We now have the National Pokedex. This time, you really must work towards filling your Pokedexes. I urge you to make them the best and the most complete of all time. Truly, this is a monumentally great undertaking in Pokemon history. Gramps, calm down. Don't get so excited. I'll get the Pokedex completed. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. I, uh, I think I'll try looking around one island first. Why is he going to one island? Weird. So... Pokemon around the world wait for you. We still can't get this Bulbasaur. It's his last Pokemon. But, there you go. We did it. We can talk to his aides if we want. Hi, Cory. I bet you've become good friends. By the way, did you know, uh, if you show Daisy your Pokemon, she occasionally she will even groom a Pokemon. This is a secret, so please don't tell anyone. Who's Daisy? Is this Daisy? Professor Oak may not look like much. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Huh. He's going to have his own radio talk show host soon. His ra own radio talk show. So... Our Pokemon are going to be fully healed. These are the Pokemon that are going to carry us to victory. In the next episode of Pokemon Fire Red, because we aren't done yet, we are going to be tackling the post-game, which means we're going to be heading to the Sevi Islands, where we are going to be able to catch Pokemon from Generation 2. Thank you all very much for watching. Please let me know what you thought of this video. I thought it was super fun. Uh, I'm really excited that we were able to take on the Elite Four. I think we did really well. Remember guys, never give up, never surrender.